What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? In this week's Offensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the New Orleans Offensive Playbook. This is a really a run-heavy uh, playbook we're going to be looking at. And uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best run-heavy playbooks in the game. Um, so, for our base formation, we're going to be utilizing the I-Form Twins Flex um, as our as our base play. Um, the play we like to come out in every single time uh, from this is going to be the halfback, or excuse me, the fullback dive strong. Remember our, um, remember to check out our 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 depth chart adjustments. Um, and basically, what's going to happen with this is we're, our main play is going to be the Saints HB power. If they main align, we're going to run it to the right every single time. So here, I mean, that does not do this run justice. This is the top five run in the game. You know, basically, this is going to get you a really good power seal and almost always going to give you five yards. If they base align their defense, this is what we'll look like here. Then we're going to playmaker that run to the left side. And you'll see here we're going to get really good seal on the left edge as well as the right edge. Okay. So that's without running, and eventually what will happen is they'll start spreading guys out to contain it, and this is where we'll hit them with the fullback dive to Fred Jackson. Alright. And then, um, we only really like the, well, we like the hitch corner and the PA divide. Uh, the PA divide, what we like to do is, basically, we're going to, um, our first read is going to be our tight end. Against cover three, it's going to be open. Our second read is going to be the post to Woods. Against um, man coverage, it will be open right there. And then our last read is basically just a, a situation where we're just going to bomb it up to our biggest target and, and try to make a user catch. That's going to only work against cover zero. But our main passing play from this is going to be the hedge corner. Um, we like to put Johnson on a drag, and then we like to double wheel route both running backs in the backfield. Our first read is going to be the running back screen here. And basically it's just a little quick pass to the running backs to, to try to get them open in the, and to try to get them out in the open field. Um, and against man coverage, it's pretty effective. Uh, we like to hit Spiller, and you see there. All right. Um, that's the first read. The second read is going to be the two dra uh, or the drag route to Johnson, and you'll see here it's going to get pretty good separation against zone coverage. And then the next read is going to be Woods. You'll see he's going to beat man, or actually, excuse me, the next read is going to be Chandler, and you see he'll beat man coverage across the middle. And then. Um, our last read is going to be the corner route, and if they're in like a cover zero, we're going to pass lead this corner route up, and you see it can get some pretty good separation against um, cover zero. And that's the beauty of this is we're going to have now a a play that really is you know pretty pretty good because it can take the top off the defense if they're not honest. Um, so if they don't have a deep blue zone, this corner route will take a, you know, it can kill a defense. So That's the base formation in a nutshell, but I cannot express to you how important it is to run this run. Saints Power, oh, you're going to run this run probably 25 times a game, and I'm not exaggerating on that. Um, and basically, you really ideally would run this to the left every time. Um, but again, you want to take what the defense gives you. Now, obviously, you want to play chess a little bit. Sometimes you want to run to the left if they're if they're man aligned. If they're if they, you know, we say as a th as a general rule of thumb to only run it to the left when they're base aligned. But you know, sometimes you want to run it, run it to the left anyway, just because it's that powerful of a running play, and you can trust it. And they may over pursue to the right if you do that. And then again. If they're baseline, maybe you want to run it to the right every now and then, just to keep them honest. So you can run both ways, and it's just—I'm telling you guys—this run is very good, very good run play here. So 
Um, that's the basics of this New Orleans offense. It's going to be run heavy based, and uh, we're going to hop into our man beater formation tomorrow and talk about how we like to beat man coverage from this um, New Orleans playbook. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the scheme.